Blackfly presents 10 illegal jobs that pay extremely well. Number 1. Crime, especially organized crime. Once based on violent criminal acts has evolved into less violent forms of illegal activity. Hackers and other digital criminals can generate quite a bit of pocket change for themselves. Activities such as hacking into people's bank accounts and creating duplicate credit cards through special copying machines has become the preferred form of activity for criminal parts of organizations. In 2008, the Russian mob swiped over $9 million through digital crime. Number 2. In South America, the drug cartel has monopolized much of the criminal activity that occurs. There are always recruiting and opportunities for a career in this field all readily available. Unfortunately, how much can the big players of high-profile cartels make? The amount is more than substantial. For example, the notorious drug lord Escobar is estimated to have been worth around $30 billion. That's a lot of pesos. Number 3. An important cog in the drug cartel machine is the transportation side of the business. Smugglers are responsible for taking the drugs from point A to point B. Oftentimes, the smuggler has to get the drugs from South America or Cuba and bring them to the United States. Smugglers can earn millions of dollars per trip because transportation is the most vulnerable to authorities discovering the products. Boat captains are often used as some people think that taking drugs over borders by water is less risky. Finally, there are the mules. These tend to be younger kids who transport marijuana over the US-Mexican border by foot or in vehicles. Mules make the least amount of money though, it still works out to thousands of dollars made per hour. Number 4. Criminals don't want to deal with the threat of violence that comes with dealing and smuggling. There is always the white-collar crime route. An example of white-collar crime is money laundering and Ponzi schemes. An investor involved in a Ponzi scheme will accept money from a group of people who believe that their money will be placed into proper investment channels. Instead of investing the money, the Ponzi investor uses the money to pay another group of people for their dividends. The Ponzi investor has to get enough investment money to pay the first, second and third groups their dividends while skimming some for himself. If the schemer has planned everything out correctly, by the time the victims catch on to the scheme, the perpetrator has gone off into the sunset. Timing is everything. Number 5. If you're looking for a very profitable crime that is a little more mundane, then embezzlement might be something you'd consider. This form of white-collar crime even has its own figurehead. Marquet International created an embezzler profile. The profile is repeated so much that they named the profile Evelyn. Evelyn is in her mid-40s and works as an accountant or bookkeeper in a large industry. She can embezzle up to almost $800,000 before anyone catches on. Number 6. Illegal wildlife trade is declining in popularity among criminals but is still on the list of high-paying crimes. Approximately $10 billion a year is made through the black market for illegally imported animals alone. Number 7. There's a crime that although not violent, can cause harm to innocent victims. Production of counterfeit pharmaceuticals is estimated to generate approximately $1.6 billion per year on the Asian black market and results in death. People who are taking the medications to treat serious illnesses do not end up getting the proper medication for treatment. Number 8. Anything that is restricted in society among the general population can generate money for those willing to go outside the law to bring in prohibited items. This includes weapons. On the black market, trafficking illegal weapons generates about $1 billion per year. Weapons that are outlawed in certain countries can provide a bigger demand and generate higher income. Number 9. Crime doesn't stop in the big cities. Remote areas are just as prone to criminal activity, especially when it comes to stealing valuable resources such as timber. Natural resource trafficking is especially predominant in certain countries like Myanmar, Indonesia and Malaysia. This type of resource trafficking generates around $7 billion for criminals. Number 10. Sex crimes still account for a good portion of criminal activity. Pimps and madams, or procurers as they are more formally referred to, arrange appointments for clients and manage the sex workers. The procurer does all of the footwork, 
so clients can get down to the dirty work. Thank you for watching yet another amazing video. Please do subscribe for many more.